Hey, what's going on, phone dogs? Boo HD here, and it's that time of the month where we reflect on some of the best Android apps to hit the Play Store. We've put together a list of 10 of our favorite Android apps. If you have any app suggestions, though, please leave your suggestions in a comment. I always love to check out new apps, especially from you guys. Now, the first app is Square Home 2. We recently reviewed the Microsoft Lumia 950, as many of you know. And while it's not about a phone, it does have a limited number of apps. Uh, if you happen to love the look of Windows 10 for Windows Phone, but you want to have all of those apps, or at least more apps, more of an app selection, you can use an Android phone with this launcher. The experience is not entirely like the official Windows 10 OS, but you'll see the tile interface is very much present. I personally really like how crisp and smooth the animations are. I imagine this launcher will only improve with time. Mimic Alarm is an app from Microsoft Garage Project designed to wake you up in a very unique way. So instead of a traditional alarm that you disable with one button and you pretty much always fall asleep afterwards, this app makes you disable it with a mimic. There are three mimics or tasks you can choose from to perform in the morning. You can match the color by snapping a pic, mimic an emotion by taking a selfie, or repeat a phrase by speaking out loud. It's a total pain in the you know what, but hey, that's what they want. They want to wake you up and make you stay awake. Uh, and that's exactly what this app does. Slash Keyboard is a neat keyboard app. The keyboard allows you to search other apps right from the keyboard itself. So you can share your location, insert GIFs and stickers, search restaurants, and a bunch of other things all from the keyboard itself. The app has some bugs, but it is a fantastic concept that has saved me a lot of time. Beneath the Lighthouse is a fun and aesthetically pleasing game. I don't know really how to describe it. You play as a boy looking for his grandpa and you navigate through levels using gravity in a sense. Uh, you rotate the level and the boy falls down and advances to its goal. You know, it's a pretty neat game. If you like the way it looks, I recommend you download it and give it a shot. I didn't know anything about the game. I just liked the way it looks and I actually had some fun playing it. Learn Python is kind of like Duolingo for Python. If you don't know what Python is, you're not alone. I'm not an expert on Python. Python is a programming language though that emphasizes code readability and its syntax allows programmers to express concepts in fewer lines of code uh, than would be possible in Java or C++. If you like learning new things, you might like to learn Python, especially in your free time. Ever Album isn't exactly new, but it did receive a new update. It's a lot like Google Photos in that it allows you to store an unlimited number of high quality images in the cloud. It even works with other services beyond your camera roll, like Google Photos, Facebook, and Instagram. The new UI improvements really just improve the overall experience. Basically, if you're looking for a service to store photos from your social networks or camera roll, you'll want to look into Ever Album, or hey, even Google Photos for that matter. Sidewire is, and I quote, the place for you to get the inside take on the day's most important political news. You can see original analysis and insights from an insider community of newsmakers. So that's what it is. You get to see a bunch of political news from insiders rather than from your social media friends who always post about one particular candidate. They have narrow-minded views. You don't want that. You want a wide perspective of views from insiders. And that's why I like this app. Depending on where you live, it may be really hard to find a place to stay, especially on a budget. PadMapper is a new app designed to search for apartments. It has a really nice layout. All the info one would need to contact a leasing office is available in one tap. I actually just moved to a new apartment. I still have a lot of moving to do, um, but I know how tough the process of finding a new place can, can be. For anyone out there who may be in a similar situation, you'll want to install this app. I highly recommend it. MyShake is an app that uses these sensors in your phone to detect earthquakes. The app was developed by UC Berkeley's Seismological Laboratory to ultimately help provide a warning before the shaking of an earthquake begins. Personally, I really love the idea and I especially love how it doesn't affect my precious battery life to any serious degree. But the last app worth sharing is another learning-based app. It's always good to learn new things in my opinion, especially if you have any free time. It's called Fraser, and it allows you to learn new words by placing the words in your notification panel. You can set how many words you want to learn per day and how often it shows you a new word. So with that last one, I hope you found at least one app that fits your particular needs or your particular interests. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't, feel free to suggest an app in a comment down below that you really like and you think others would like as well. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.